Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is the 21st of May, which is May I Scrap Lift You, but today is extra special uh, because our friend Nicole has met a thousand subbies on YouTube, which is huge, and we wanted to celebrate with her. So that being said, she has invited us to celebrate and to scrap lift, which is perfect because it is May. So that being said, I have taken this beautiful layout and it's totally out of my comfort zone. And I was like, you know what? I am going to embrace the white. So she starts with a white piece of paper and then she's gonna create basically kind of two ledges, one in the upper left hand, one in the lower right hand uh, with just kind of scraps of paper. And this would be a perfect layout to scrap lift if you kind of got down to the last bit of your kit and you just had scraps or uh, you were just playing with your scraps from your scrap bin, like this, this would be a perfect layout. So I'm not quite down to the scraps, but I have actually torn into the majority of the paper from this Color Rush Studio uh, January kit. So I felt like I had enough that I, I could embrace this. Plus I really wanted to use some of the frazzles and ribbon from the kit as some of those layers as well. So you can see that's, that's just what I'm doing right here. So she has three photos on the bottom and then she's used a cut apart piece uh, up at the top. So I actually have three small photos down at the bottom like she does, but then I also have a larger photo up at the top. So this was the pre-prom photo shoot and we have a square in our, in our town and it has a gazebo. So that's where the majority of these pictures were taken. And we were just hanging out on the gazebo and Lucas was twirling alley around. And so I just snapped a bunch of pictures. I actually took so many pictures this time because I wanted to make sure that I got the pictures she wanted. And then, I mean, obviously there were some <laughs> terrible pictures, but I wanted to make sure that there was at least enough options that uh, she, she got enough that she liked. So I just took a bunch and she took my phone and took the one she wanted. And then I still got to keep all of them. So I really felt like it was kind of a win-win situation. So I did map my photos in black cardstock and part of me is wondering if I should have matted the whole photo or the whole layout in black cardstock as well. I'm really, really trying to embrace the white space like Nicole did. Really, really. <laughs> um, but I still look at it and I feel like feel like it needs something, like at least a doodly border or something. So please let me know in the comments if you think I should just embrace the white space, leave it as it is, because I think it's a pretty good scrap lift of Nicole's, which to me, hers doesn't need any of that. So I'm not really sure why I feel like mine does. Um, but uh, let me know in the comments what I should do. Because <laughs> it's just going to sit in my pile for right now um, in, until the end of the month. So she does have some splatters on her background. And so I'm going to do some splatters as well. I grabbed some Distress Spray stain in speckled egg and then also some colorings in pretty and pink and I decided to have my title be and five six seven eight like you know 
like it's a dance thing since they're kind of dancing. So that's where my brain is. If you were like, why are there numbers? That seems weird. Um, I did make a little bit of a cluster up in the top right hand photo with a banner and a floral. And I'm trying to see if there is any other place for a floral. I like the floral down here, but there's a couple of them that I'm trying out that just seem a little bit large. So I'm going to add a, I guess you would call it the top of a tab, a tag. Uh, so this was actually from the branding strip. The branding strip had all of these tops of tags. I just thought it was perfect. So I'm going to add that in. And then I'm going to find this floral that I had fussy cut and I'm going to tuck that down in there. And then I also have a couple of these, um, oh, like, like die cuts from like glitter paper. And so I'm going to add the two circles, one at the top and one at the bottom. Oh, look at that there. I must not have glued down those florals down there on the bottom because they are not on my layout anymore. So <laughs> I might have to go find those because I definitely like them there and it's, it's definitely missing. So I decided to reach for a couple of things in my how to kill a kit with style. I wanted some tiny word stickers because she had some of those in her layout and the ones that came in the embellishment kit were like the months and stuff. So I'm going to add two black ones. One says I heart you. One says grow love. And I'm going to add some clear ones uh, after I find them. Uh, I also grab some clear floor, black and white, well, I guess they're not white, clear and black florals. I'm going to scatter those about the page a little bit, and then I will find the clear ones, and I'm going to add two of those. One says right now, one says you make life beautiful. That is what I am digging for. And it looks like I have another floral up there, kind of under the eight. That's not there anymore either. <laughs> I apparently did a terrible job gluing things down with this layout <laughs> because things are missing. I did add another clear sticker uh, from my kit that is a bow. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, I would say it's kind of blue. And so I used that to cover my tag hole instead of using the frazzle. I felt like I had, I had a decent amount of frazzle and ribbon on the top and the bottom. I think I was going to add the pom-pom trim up to the top to bring some more of that pink up there. Uh, but I think that it got buried <laughs> and I kind of forgot about it. So that doesn't end up there, but I'm trying to decide if I should add that as well. I think that the pink floral up there brings enough pink up there that it doesn't feel like it's missing out on something. So congratulations to Nicole again. Make sure you give her some love. I will have her link uh, down below. I don't know if she's doing a playlist or links, but whatever she's doing, I will have that linked as well as the playlist for May I Scrap Lift You. And that's going to do it for me today. So remember to wear your crown and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.